this morning teaching ukulele it was super fun we actually were learning uh, Rhiannon by Fleetwood Mac because when I'm teaching ukulele I don't like to just teach songs that have ukulele in them because I don't know for me the ukulele can be such a diverse instrument that it can play anything we don't just need to learn ukulele songs and Rhiannon is a great song to learn if you're ever first picking up the ukulele because it only has three chords C major F major and A minor so three chords super easy so it's super fun to play now what I'm doing is I don't have any more private students now to Wednesday so I'm prepping a bit for my private students and aside from that I've got to do yeah just a bit more work and get ready for this school year I feel like it's kind of crept up on me but yeah so that's kind of been my Monday so far and it's definitely autumn I've started to get conkers I've been crazy busy so you might have noticed that last week there wasn't an upload what I'm doing is I might just combine last week and this week into one vlog just because I think last week if I upload it as its own vlog there's gonna be like nothing in it I started back at work last week it's been very busy I've got like a billion songs to learn one of the ones I'm trying to work out well I'm trying to learn right now is just the two of us by Bill Withers there's great bass tabs online I found actually a bass tab on Songster which seems to be pretty accurate it's got some bits in it that are a bit too complicated for me, but the general bass line I kind of have down. So it starts on six, which is a um, either, well, it's a D flat, but you could say it's a C sharp, I guess. But for the context of this song, it's a D flat because of the key. So you have to walk up six, eight, six, zero, five, nine, ten, twelve, ten, and then you go back to um, A, six, and then you repeat again. And then it basically just jumps down the octave for the verses. You go to four on the A string, four, six, four, and then you've got three, three, seven, eight, ten, eight, um, back to seven, then to four. So it always has that kind of same movement in the verse, well, the intro in the verses, it's just the octave jump. And then the chorus is really nice, but I can't do it how it's meant to be done. I think it sounds more like it's really being, well, not plucked that hard, but it sounds like boom, ah. Like it sounds like it's got more of a funk to the top, which I'm not good at yet. But essentially you start on the four, you've got. And it's the top one I think should have that kind of plucky thing, but yeah, I can't do it yet. And then I think on the there isn't any bass happening, I think. At least I hope there isn't. I hope at least I hope there isn't. And then it all just repeats until it gets to kind of like a bridgey bit where it goes four, three, this is on the A string, two, one, zero, then four on the E string, then one, four, six. So that's on the that trumpet bit and then the other bass line I've had to learn is a One Republic song called I Ain't Worried which I didn't know One Republic was still together making music but this bass line is great because when you know it it's the same for the whole song so as soon as you get it down you just repeat it but it is quite quick that's the only thing you start on the one on the A string So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and work on that one because that one moves a little bit quicker. And then um, I'll catch you all on the flip side.
friend of mine is doing this really cool uh, peach toba thing. It's an artist on Instagram. I'll link it over here somewhere. I'll show a picture of it. And my friends are like a visual artist, like a 3D animator. So she's been posting um, pictures with all the prompts. I don't have time. Well, I'm not a physical artist and I don't have time to do something every day. So what I'm going to do, because she's got kind of three lines of words, I'm going to join in, but I'm going to try and do like one song every week, including all the words from that line. So the words this week were cave, dandelions, boulder, cowboy, lantern, bow, mask, potion. So I tried to write a little song, a little funny song about a girl that lives in a cave <laughs> and she meets a cowboy and he gives her a magic potion. <laughs> so just a silly song. And I found it quite fun. I didn't want to make it anything too complicated, like oh, how to put these words in and make it sound normal. Like I was like, let's just go with the storytelling of the fun of it and make it kind of silly. But it was super fun because I got to use this new T-Bone mic. So I got some new mics recently i've got two t-bone um condensers i think they're condensers or cardioids and two Beringa, same kind of style like cardioid mics because i want to use them for recording the choir and i'd done some research and read that apparently cardioid mics are quite good for choir recording so we're going to try them but i thought i'd test it out today to see how it would go if i just wanted to try and record both my instrument and me i'll probably put a video of it somewhere if oh, i do end up doing it okay. but yeah fun Anyway, I've got to go to work, so see you later. Surrounded by dandelions Just by the border Covered in trees I met a cowboy Holding a lantern and bow on his back He gave me a potion He wore a mask he said, how?